friends, it's Cherie, and in today's episode of Elevate with Ankara, I will be revealing to you my finished shorts. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. In today's episode, episode number 20, I am revealing to you my finished shorts. If you are new to the Elevate with Ankara sewing series, this is a sewing series put together by myself and Talisha of Creativity by T here on YouTube and on Instagram. In this series, we are encouraging our sewing friends to elevate basic patterns by using standout Ankara fabric. Ankara fabric is 100% cotton wax print fabric. All right, let's get into this. So in the previous video that we shared, we shared that we would be making some shorts out of Ankara fabric and we gave lots of different suggestions on which fabrics we think would work nicely. If you haven't seen that video, make sure that you head to the playlist in the information section so that you can check out the entire series. So the pattern that I selected is the Friday Pattern Company, the Sport Shorts. This right here is a really great pattern, you guys. First of all, it is no cost to low cost, which means that you can either download this pattern for free or you can donate to, to I believe, $10 for this pattern on Friday Pattern Company's website. So it's definitely cost effective. You just download it, print it out, and tape the pieces together. And since it's shorts, there aren't a lot of pieces to tape together. So let me read a little description about the shorts. The sport shorts are perfect for all your summertime activities. These woven shorts feature pockets and elastic drawstring waistband and cute bound edges. The sport shorts are easy to sew and fun to wear, and I highly agree. And I wanna show you the young lady on the pattern. She is on a skateboard, and she's paired her shorts with sneakers and a button-up shirt, and I just love the way that looks together. So I am so pleased that I selected this pattern, and I think that my shorts came out lovely, and I hope that you do too. So this particular pattern requires that you use woven fabrics and they suggest light to medium weight foot fabrics. Now you can make this out of a chambray, you can make this out of all different types of cotton, and you can also make this out of linen. The fabric requirements are um, given as though you are going to be doing some contrasting. So in this pattern, it does walk you through how to create your own bias tape, as well as to do a contrasting waistband of the shorts. So that's how the yardage is broken down. So for the main body of the shorts, you're going to need one to 1.8 yards of fabric. And for the contrasting, you'll need 0.6 to 1.2 yards of fabric. So additionally, you'll need two yards of 1.5 elastic, a safety pin, a marking tool, fusible interfacing, and three fourths inch bias tape maker, or you need to purchase bias tape, which is what I did. The size range for this pattern is an extra small to a 7X, and the extra small measurement is a waist of 24 to 25 inches and a hip of 34 to 35 inches. The 7X is a 52 to 53 inch waist and a 62 to 63 inch hip. And this pattern is rated as easy, and I definitely agree with that, that this is an easy sewing project. While this is a easy pattern to sew, it is a very time consuming project to sew. If you are a person that will be making your own bias tape, that does take time. After you cut your strips of fabric, you have to connect them. After you connect them, you need to use your iron and your bias tape ma maker to actually iron the folds into the fabric to create the bias tape, and that can take a lot of time. Additionally, the bias tape is used to finish off all the edges decoratively, and so that takes time as well to add to the project. But when you're done, it is a beautiful finish to your garment, and it opens up the possibility to add some really creative details to your shorts. So I think that it's a really nice project, and it's worth the time that it will take to make the shorts. I actually chose to purchase half inch bias tape from Amazon and I'll link the bias tape that I purchased in the information section of this video if you'd like to check it out. And even though the half inch bias tape isn't the same measurement as the bias tape maker that they suggest, it worked out lovely for these shorts. So you shouldn't have a problem with using half inch bias tape. This 
project took me four hours to make and I know you may be thinking that's a long time but I actually made two pairs of shorts instead of just one and I did the whole assembly line sewing so I sewed all the pieces at the same time so it did take me a little bit longer to create my shorts and so that's why it took four hours there are eight pattern pieces for this pattern and that includes two of the pattern pieces that are used to make bias tape so if you're not making your own bias tape then you will actually only have six pattern pieces for this pattern. I didn't have any first time experiences with this sewing project because it is an easy pattern and I've done all of the steps before. However, I had never done a decorative finish using bias tape on any project before. Generally when I use bias tape it's to finish off the insides of my garments so that you know they look nice and clean but it's not so that people can see the bias tape from the outside of my garment so this was a fun way to use bias tape and i'm actually kind of hooked and i can't wait to actually start playing with other patterns that i can use bias tape as a decorative feature so it's really neat and i enjoyed that step i found this project to be very therapeutic because it made me slow down a bit in creating the pattern it was the perfect project to make while watching netflix and i think that if you're a person that wants a project that will make you slow down and like pay attention to some details and you can just take your time with it you will really love this project because it does take time and it isn't hard it's just it takes time to edge all the pieces of fabric with the bias tape and when you're all done it's just you have this big wow factor when you look at your finished project so i found it to be very therapeutic and hopefully you do as well when you try this pattern out i will be making these shorts again because i absolutely love the way they came out i will say that by using ankara fabric like i did here the shorts are actually a bit more dressy, right? So you can wear them with heels and a blouse and it looks very put together and a little less sporty. I do think I'd like to try it in a lighter weight flowy fabric so that I can get more of a sporty feel while wearing them. And I also think that you could make it in a lighter fabric in order to create pajama pants or pajama shorts. And I think that they would be perfect for that. So this is a very versatile pattern that can be dressed up or down and in Ankara fabric, it definitely is elevated and it definitely looks more dressy because I used Ankara fabric they're very unique looking and I don't think that you'd easily be able to find some shorts like this in the stores and with these professional looking finishes I'm definitely going to get some compliments I already know while wearing these because they're beautiful and I don't think that there's anything about them that shows that they are handmade by me I think they actually look like they could be store-bought so really beautiful shorts and I loved this pattern so much. I definitely recommend this pattern to anyone who has lots of one yard pieces of fabric in their fabric collection, okay? I buy these six yard bundles of Ankara fabric and I often have one yard to two yards of fabric left in the that particular print and there's lots of stacks of those in my sewing stash and i always think man i wish i could make a garment out of this but i guess i'll have to make a bag because of how little the amount of fabric is but this pattern would be perfect for either combining those scrap pieces of fabric to make a really cool mitch match contrasting pair of shorts or to just use them to make another pair of shorts by themselves one of the things that i really loved about this project is that i purchased two yards of this fabric in order to create these shorts but I have enough fabric left over to make a tank top and not a skimpy tank top I'll have one that'll be long enough to tuck in so I'll have a matching set and I think that's fantastic so definitely if you have one yard of fabric you can probably squeeze out these shorts especially if you purchase your bias binding rather than making your bias binding I'm going to insert some pictures and you'll be able to see me modeling the shorts and as you can see I have paired it with a tank top so that it looks a little bit more sporty a less a little less dressy and then I've also paired it with a linen button-up that is black so that you can see what it looks like with the shirt buttoned up and tucked in versus open and loose on top like a layering piece that is one of the ways that i love to wear my button-up shirts during summertime i think that this came together so nicely i think that these shorts definitely were elevated with ankara fabric and i highly recommend this pattern to you if you enjoyed watching this video please do give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel Make sure that you head over to Talisha of Creativity by T's channel so that you can 
see the shorts that she has created. And also check out the other episodes of Elevate with Ankara so that you can be inspired and see all the wonderful garments that we made this year using Ankara fabric. This is episode number 20, so we have enough videos to keep you entertained for a while. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic summer. Talk to you soon. Bye.